up guys, this episode in the embeddable JavaScript widget series, we're going to actually talk about the embeddable JavaScript widget code itself. So we've been cheating a bit because we've been using our embeddable JavaScript widget inside the same Rails app. But when you're on another website, you're going to need the script tag with a URL to the JavaScript that points to, you know, embeddablecomments.com or whatever this site ends up running on. And it will need to have the JavaScript file and the CSS file. And those by default in Rails will have a hash in them. So if we take a look at our comments that we have right now, you will see that our script tag that we have added here has a source, but the source has this big number in it, which is the hash of the file. And so that is going to change every time you modify the embed code. And our users are not gonna be constantly updating this for every release that we make. So one of the solutions that we're gonna use in this episode that's the simplest is we're gonna have a redirect inside Rails. So we can have slash embed.js and that will redirect to the latest version of this pack tag.